Hello, I'm going to teach you some tips on how to improve your reading comprehension skills. One, read as carefully as you can. If you need to use your finger, then just do that and follow your finger to make sure you read every word properly and that you don't miss anything. This is really important even with the question in the activity. The next tip, read again and again. Reading something again gives you the chance to find new information that you might have missed. Three, if you can, actually take a highlighter pen or a coloured pencil or just use one pen or pencil with different colours on it and just use zigzags or circles or boxes to underline or do something to the words that you think are going to be important. Next, try remembering what information you just read or even write it down, scribble down everything you can remember. This teaches your brain to remember the information better and more of it each time and it trains your brain so always try and think about what you've just heard. It becomes easier and easier with time. The next thing you can do is go back through your text and find the keywords that you've been asked to find. So if you're asked a question, for example, about cars, go back through the text and underline every time you read about cars. And then see that information clearer when you're going to answer the question. When you have got your answer, Always read through the rest of the text to make sure that that's the only answer that it could be. There might be some hidden information further down in your text that you have missed out. For the same reason, always start at the beginning of your text instead of halfway through or where you think you had that information. Practice your skim reading skills. Have a look at some of my other videos on speed reading and skimming. These will help you in these situations where you can quickly go back and flick through really quickly and find the information that you need. And another trick is also in a multiple choice test, read every single answer and make sure that it isn't the answers you haven't chosen. So if you've got your answer, just check the other answers in case they may actually be the right answer and you've missed something or got confused. So you've got to double check. Do the one you think and then check it mustn't be the others to make sure completely. And then if you have more time, read the story again. Read it aloud. Out loud gives you the chance for your brain to process the information much more slowly. If I spoke to you really fast during this video, you wouldn't have been able to take in all the information. So give yourself the opportunity to think. Thinking about what you've read is the next skill as you advance through reading comprehension. You may like to stop after each sentence or each paragraph to understand what they are trying to tell you. Some questions do not ask for fixed information they've given you, but more information that they have actually given clues to. So just think, ask yourself the question, what do they mean by this? What does it actually represent? Just try and join up those dots. You can practice this and get better and better and better. So keep trying. Every time you read something, whether it's in the newspaper, on TV, in an article somewhere, you'll see bits of text and paragraphs all the time. So just pause, hold the page, have a look, and also don't forget people around you. Ask for help, ask for some information. What does this mean? Or what do they mean by that? I don't get it. Have someone explain it to you, 
and you get to have the idea. Good luck and if you need any help, send me a little message and I'll be happy to give you some advice. You could also visit my website and get more ideas from there. Good luck! See you later!